Well said. Let's move on to <laughs> Yemen. Speaking of Yemen, uh, atop the news, a uh, huge issue of whether President Saleh is going to be allowed to come here for medical treatment. This after being uh, obviously the subject of huge revolutions, a huge march, 100,000 people in the street marching miles the other day because they're frustrated that he's trying to renege on turning over power in February. Should we be doing? I mean, how many? How many? Let me start with you. How many, Susan? How many people does a does an Iron Man have to kill or injure of his in his own country? Country before we'll say no you got to go to Paris you got to go to Saudi Arabia you can't come to New York to use well, our hospital at the very least I know we should have a definitive answer and what's kind of happened from this White House who did such a good job of saying so firm and so tough on the last de debate with the Congress is now he is coming while well, he's not coming you need to simply the US should simply say he is or he is not and not allow it up for debate it should have been an open and closed issue this is where he's going and that really wouldn't have affected many people that Ka Karen is this uh, you know I understand there's a lot of internal White House dissent right. on this some people who are saying look he's been with us uh, you know in the in the war on terror and if we make room for him to sort of do these things it'll ease the democratic transition or something like that but right. others saying this is just that this makes us look like like we're on the on the wrong side of history helping a thug where, where are you on this right well look I mean it's interesting because when I was reading sort of the back and forth from over the weekend it, as a communications person it felt a little bit to me like there, that there's a little bit of floating a trial balloon to see what the reaction would be because as Susan pointed out you've got the he's coming he's not coming and he actually said over the weekend that he would come to the United States because he wants to be out of the country to kind of calm tensions then it was no he's going to come you know for medical reasons so I, it, it felt more to me like there's some testing here to see what the reaction is but I agree with you I think it's I mean you know if I'm Hosni Mubarak I'm I'm thinking to myself well I want that deal I'm sick I'll go to the U.S. for and, treatment and, and, if that's and, and, all it takes. Well, what about the hundreds of people who've been that's injured right. or killed I mean are, are we flying right. all of them to the United States let me give Dr. Jimmy Williams <laughs> a say you you know, as a my, compassionate man. You know I, I you don't want my opinion there I could care less about this issue it doesn't this does not lower the price of gas it does not lower the cost of college tuition in the United States I don't give a damn well, so far uh, affairs off the table for Jimmy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't bring it up. Actually, you do. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't we're think this makes. I don't affairs. think we're, anybody in Iowa cares. I don't think people in America but care. You know, I, we've just been talking about how Iowa shouldn't be the be all and end all. <laughs> hey, sorry, Matt, Karen. Lot, go ahead. A lot of people have said that, you know, in terms of you know not really caring, and to some degree, Jimmy's right. On the other hand, foreign <laughs> policy, as we know, a lot of these matters actually do matter, and we should care because they do impact sometimes the cost of gas they do impact what's happening with our troops they do impact I mean foreign policy but this one does, does have an impact yes, here it at does. home and they're an ally and it Jimmy. does because oh, they're look, supposedly an ally upon, until they're not an ally but, they're, but if but they're, we but allow they're... him to come to this country and it causes a certain level of unrest in that country again there may be calls for us to send troops which we're not going to want to have to do I'm not saying we would do it but these things actually do matter and maybe not as urgently as some of the other issues but there is a connection and the, la the one thing I want to say before we got to run is is I think th this is it's moments like this that make uh, you know average Americans don't understand why do so many people around the world hate America at different times because we think of ourselves our self image is right. we're the good guys and yet at moments like this if you're an average Yemeni seeing that your di you know your brutal dictator who you're trying to unleash yourself from is going to be allowed to come you know kind of scot-free to great US medical treatment people say wait a minute which side is the US on briefly you look just, you look like just, you have to have a last well word. no it's just to, to what Karen was just saying you have to be decisive though this should simply be a case of this is what's happened they should be saying he's coming or he went somewhere else and it doesn't have to be a subject of debate in the press or around the, you know Jimmy's kitchen to most, yeah, Americans, most Americans don't know where Yemen is sound advice from the panel the panel stays up next our specialist is joining with some